and greetings everybody and welcome back to rebuilding the commonwealth with myself welcome back to the lovely jamaica plains uh, we are here again today looking at our next project yes i gave up on the idea of that house on the corner of the settlement because i just could not get it right i've spent nearly four and a half hours experimenting with crap and getting precisely nowhere <laughs> so yeah um as before like comment subscribe really helps me out won't bore you with the rest but uh, i read every comment i read every suggestion i respond to every comment almost <laughs> i think there's been like one i've missed but um yeah this is our this is our next project um i am going to change this brick on this building to match because it looks kind of out of place now I figure we don't have enough beds in this settlement at all and we haven't really got much living space. I mean all the spaces we've built are for military personnel which kind of leaves me feeling a bit bad so we're going to work on this but as you might have noticed a bit like the parochial house it's not a structure so we're going to have to make it one. Now under the shell kit we have some really interesting pieces we can use like this fantastic uh, tall doorway which I think is going to be a perfect piece Ooh, that actually snaps that's pretty interesting so we're going to put this in place where this doorway should be and we're going to very gently outline where the build should be so I think that is just about right. Need to lower it into the floor just a tad. And... Hold that pose. Just like that. Ooh. <laughs> it looks really dumb like that, but uh, bear with me. Now I know this is uh, the commercial set, but I have plans, don't worry. And also because this is an angled wall, the walls next to it will snap perfectly where they need to be. Which is exactly what we want. One of the classic phrases of mine. Now I'm just going to lower this ever so slightly. Till it matches up with the staircase here, like that brilliant now I'm thinking this is going to be a sort of public house that people can gather in they can enjoy you know they can make friends they can be part of the settlement here so I'm going to outline slightly more here we're going to stick with the classic brick hmm Yeah, you know what? I'm going to put the classic brick in here. This is just to get the settlement started, by the way. Just to get this project off the ground. Uh, I'm going to mimic what's behind it. Oh, that's a 45 degree. I don't want that. Yeah, that's a double window, so I'm just going to stick the double window in. I'm only going this step so that I can outline how big the building is, and then I'm going to get rid of the shell. And then we're going to get cracking from there. Okay, so we're looking at four wide and two tall, which might change. Now... Let's remove uh, Disable Remove that What does this look like from inside? Do we get big graphic bugs? No Do we get graphic bugs from the other side? No, no we do not 
That is perfect best case scenario. That's what I like to see. Okay. So let's um, let's just stick in these placeholder bricks uh, up top as well. So yeah, we've got three wide, two tall, and we've got two wide on this end of the building as well. Ooh. I'm sure that is stuff that I can get rid of if I look at the right place, but yeah, there you go, deco wall. Just takes a little bit to spot it, deco wall, there you go. Okay, so this is the footprint that we have to work with here, for like a public house. We've got a few little entrances to work with, so we could make quite a nice open plan, almost like a reception, a communal room, then some steps up, a bit like a hotel. But this bus stop, I think, has finally outlived its welcome. So off you go. Uh, these seats. Um, OK, I'm going to quick save here in case I screw this up. That's it. See, I don't know why part of them glows. I think it's probably because they're you know, wearing a helmet or something, which makes their part of them glow, but I'm not one to say. Uh, this will need adjusting to come up to the level of that, which is brilliant. Now, what I want to experiment with is as plain brick, that looks really dull. Could I get away with the snappy builds uh, and sticking with the theme that we have for the town centre? Can we get away with the stone we have on residential? Residential stone. Not this front. This front is exactly what I want it to be. But can I get away with adding in these? To create this amalgamation. Um, This, that's going to be a bit tricky because of the terrain height at the back there. But I'm sure we can work around it. This should be... Yeah, that should be some, some piece there. Yeah. Uh, we can mess around with the retaining wall afterwards. I'm sure we could just shrink one of them down. I mean, these are just shrunk down pieces of corner retaining. So, that's not a problem. And then this needs to be... Let's just put the window facing inwards. Uh, I don't think we can stick that in because... Uh, because snapping, of course. Okay, so snapping, bring that down, bring that down by 50. I've always wondered, because it always looks like they don't quite match up these stone bricks, but they do. You know what? I actually like classic bricks better. Yeah, I actually like classic bricks better. We're going to swap back. Sorry, guys, but uh, I, I quite like the bricks better. Plus, we can put in the commercial parts of this to give it some variety. Oh, that's a 45 degrees. Yeah, I don't want that. Okay, yeah, one is definitely an exterior, and one is an interior. Yeah. Oops. Yeah, so we'll bring this out to the street, and we'll put in these windows here. Oh, for crying out loud, come on. 
just line up. <laughs> line up. Stop resisting. Oh, okay, fine. I'll bring you up. Oh, now you want to snap. Okay. Now that I know, uh, now that you know, I'm going to brute force you. I think some of these pillars might go well in breaking up the flat uh, facade of it. And of course, we have those graffiti units that were used on the back of that. So, under the commercial kit. Ooh, we have a commercial kit number two as well. You know what? That looks really good. I really should look at more of these commercial kits. Yeah. Not a fan of some of those, though. Must be said. Cool. Right, so now I've got to think. How are we going to apply a staircase into this plane? Because now we have to think of flooring. So we're going to use the clean flooring for this, naturally. Let's put down some proper flooring where we can. So that would be here. That would be here. There. Oh, this is going to be an absolute nightmare, isn't it? Because we're fighting with uh, other builds here. The grain is going the wrong way on that. So we got to fit it back. There we go. Then drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. There we go. Drop it into place. All good to go. Okay. There is an invisible wall just here, which is a little bit annoying, but oh, there's actually quite a large invisible wall here. That's fine, we'll work around it as and when we need it. I really do like the fact there's no graphical glitches here. Okay, that retaining wall is coming up onto the building by a bit much. Then bring this up to cover the concrete and we're good as gold there. There will be something going across there. Just as placeholders here. I, mean, I could incorporate a good part of this with the uh, the adjacent building which would be quite an interesting thought I mean that piece up here that I could incorporate by putting like an internal tier section I think it's just high enough for me to get away with an upper tier and just so do we have the avoidance of doubt I'm going to put the, the floor in up above just so we can tell if the stairs are going to snap you know that kind of stuff Right, so we've got a floor up top and the floor down the bottom. So this is the space we're working with. Okay, so about this height is how tall we're going to have to make it. So do we have a foundation? Concrete. Commercial kit pillars, no thanks. There are a lot of pieces I could use here. The worn out wood doesn't have any bottom pieces, but that doesn't strictly matter. If I put the clean floor... I'm just thinking, because we've only got three tiles to work with. 
which is not which is not a tragedy. Uh, don't get me wrong. We can still do a lot with it. Let me just put a quick staircase up so I can head on to the top level. That'll do. I mean, that would give you a lovely view, I tell you. That is good. So this is just me getting some ideas here. And that is a knock at my door. Bear with me. Hello again, guys. Yeah, sorry about that. So, just while I sorted that out, I thought I'd take the liberty of setting out the framework. Now, I don't think there's going to be anything we can do about this terrain. So I think I will just section this piece off in the middle. Well, section it off from here and make the lower floor smaller than it actually is. Um, this has actually been a pain. Uh, I think this park grass block here is causing the invisible wall. Which, if it is, is quite annoying. I'll tell you what, let's, um, let's put these. Yeah, it's the grass blocks here. I'm going to put these in the workshop for now. Um, I'll come up with a solution. Let's just see how bad that looks on the other side. I've had to move these plant planters forwards a little bit. Oh, that's barely anything. I could cover those up with a post, for crying out loud. So yeah, I've had to pull these planters forward to allow for this wall to get a little bit further out. Which kind of works because it brings this column a bit more flush with the building. So I'm actually not opposed to that at all. We can't put any windows here because this section is higher than that. So we're kind of working against the tiers here. However, what I can do... Uh, the way I've laid this building out is I want this exterior piece to be like the communal area, like a communal hallway, which is what we're going for. I'm just thinking, do we have one of these commercial pieces with the door on the other side? Because we've got one with the door on the right, if you're indoors. I want one with the door on the left, but I don't think we have one of those. However, we do have a residential pack that comes with this as well. Do we have a left-facing door, is the question. No, but we do have a bay window. Oh, for crying out loud. <clears throat> yeah, we do have a bay window. And another bay window. I am actually going to put these in over here because I think that will look pretty good. I was going to say, it is classic brick on the outside, isn't it? Uh, that's still on the other uh, hang on. No, that is still that is still with the door on the right. So what exactly is the difference between these two? It's gonna take a stronger person than me to figure that one out. Oh, I think it must be the uh, the wallpaper texture on the inside. Yeah, it's a different wallpaper texture. That's fine. Um, we'll deal with what we have. We'll deal with it. Okay, so that has its own floor. That does not. So we're going to use this to add a little bit of uh, flavour here. Hmm. Just had uh, just had an idea. Which piece was it? I think it was the deco kit. Do not quote me on this. That's the lobby trim. I've seen that before. It's not under lobby. It's not under balconies. 
Deco kit base. Come on, I've, I've seen this before. I'm pretty sure it's the deco kit. I'm going to be pretty bummed out if it's not. That's it. A skywalk. Now, let's just say I put a skywalk here. Okay. Oh, for crying out loud. If I put another skywalk piece in here, it fits almost exactly. Part of me really wants to put that skywalk in, but another part of me is sensible and will not do that because A, the skywalk looks ugly as fuck. <laughs> And secondly, that blocks the view of the lovely town centre. So, <clears throat> joke's on you. Oh, that, that could have been great if it looked better than that. Could have looked great. Never mind. So we'll put this bay window in. Like that. Let's just check it out from below. Yeah, I don't think that looks out of place at all. Not out of place at all. Which is good. What about over here? Well, what am I doing that for? I haven't even put anything over there. I can't really do much on this side because I have the staircase. So, I think I'll be better off sticking with the shell kit. And putting in a different kind of the residential windows. Oh no, that's uh, the proper bay windows. Don't want those. No. Uh, red brick. think these would look fine especially because this part here is finished with concrete yeah granted we have that but we can iron that out with a column so that's not a problem not a problem at all so coming up to here we'll have the second floor this is where a lot of people will stay thinking if I could put a third floor in here now that is definitely a rooftop so I don't think I could get away with a third floor but I could get away with a rooftop <laughs> that's the uh, <clears throat> that's the critical takeaway from this right so this is what I'm proposing to do here is uh, I'm going to use the clean floors and I'm going to place these in like so But the wall on the inside, there should be a internal kit here. Yeah, internal kit. So I'll place an internal wall across here. So on the first floor, the uh, building ends over there. On the second floor, <coughs> the wall ends over here. Or rather, the guest rooms end here because I think we'll have two guest rooms up here or two areas for the people to sleep but this part here can adjoin into the building next door the only issue I have with the building next door is the building next door has got this massive mound of rubble that I have to work around which uh, makes things about as fun as a bullet to the side of the head so it's going to take a bit of figuring out. T 
to be fair, that could be the stairway up. And I could just extend the guest house even further. Ah, that's, that's what I think I'm going to do. But I need to keep this area down here interesting. Otherwise, it's just going to look... It's just going to look really boring. Because let's face it, if I just put brick all across the bottom here, I don't know if this will snap. I really don't. Nah, this won't snap at all. Right, um... So I'm going to have to try and position this manually. A bit like that. Yeah, I think that's quite good. That's quite a good uh, start there. Yeah, so if I just put standard brick all across here. I mean, I'm going to do it because I kind of have to, just for now. I have to put standard brick here as a bit of a placeholder. Uh, that can then go round the corner, like so. Then I can take that out and put in the last piece of brick here. We have the slight amalgamation of red brick, which is alright. We can deal with it. The height of this brickwork... Did I, did I use the wrong bricks here? No, I didn't. That's Yeah, that's just the light. It looks red when you look at it a certain way. Right, yeah, so if I just leave this as it is, it's going to look really, really dull. Very, very boring. And going through here is going to be one of the dullest parts of town. But I don't have much of a choice, so I'm going to roll with it for now. What I will do, though is try and match the heights of these parts of the bricks to make things a little bit easier. Yes, I think that's about right. It's going to snap the uh, bricks down by just a tad. That's it. Bring them down. These can go because I need to put in another layer of bricks. Give it a brick skin. Actually, I'm not going to do that because if this is going to be another guest room or two. I mean, down here is probably going to be one guest room and a communal space. So the floor here, this is a question of whether I snap them to the correct height or not. Oh, almost. I almost got it. Give me some credit. I'll take off the shack stairs. Actually, I need to snap the grain correctly. There we go. Now bring it up just enough to match. I think that matches. Now we can snap the wall to the floor height and that will give us the right base to work from to create what we need. OK, 
Okay. I don't know why you're not snapping, but uh, that's quite tiresome. Let's move you up to, to it manually, as I have to do with everything. That's it. Okay, I have to do you manually as well. Because, you know, you can't just make things easy for me. Always has to be difficult. I see how it is. Cool. Hold on, so does this actually... Aha, it does actually stretch through the floor. That's going to be... Um, that's going to be interesting to try and cover up. I mean, I've got an idea for that, but um, it's going to take me a little bit to, uh, to sort out. So up here, I'm going to put in some more flooring to cover this. More flooring to cover that. More flooring to cover that. That. That is not correct. That needs to be corrected. There we go. Now that's correct. Brilliant. course I haven't snapped these yet but there's still time oops didn't mean to do that right now here's where I can start using a few of the things that uh, I have access to oh that's what I want because this will be a stairwell that will take you upstairs to the uh, very, very top of the building. This will have a concrete floor. The concrete floor needs to have a half here, so you can get around it. Yeah, now these flat roofs are what this is made of, so it comes with that. I think a metal kind of annex on the roof wouldn't be a bad idea, if I'm honest with you. Skylight's probably not a thing, to be honest. Actually, why do I need that? Answer is I don't because one of the pieces in here has some roof decorations. Either that or it is under the homemaker brick buildings. Yes, you've got these rooftop pieces. You got here which is rooftop building access. Okay, uh, I think that needs another concrete, a concrete base from Snappy Builds, and then that should work. So I'll go back to the shell kit with the floor of concrete, put my concrete floor down, then the roof access piece should fit with it. Oops, Daisy. Okay. Not sure how this is going to work, but it's worth a try. So up on the roof, roof pieces, we should get a flat roof, much like what was here originally. Uh, I don't know the difference between the two of those, but we'll make it work. So flat roof there, flat roof there. Flat roof there. I mean, that doesn't look completely out of place. Not sure how I feel about it, though. Because 
because we're sticking with the original architecture. Oh, I haven't put the walls in. That's probably why. No, I think this piece is designed to go in the middle of a rooftop and we don't have the middle of a rooftop. So that's really not going to work. Now, do we have a metal piece with a door? Yes, we do. So we could have a metal annex up here. Which would fit with the metal theme on there. And it would fit the metal theme over there. The metal roofing theme, that is. Obviously, the church is an exception. It's, it's well, if you come from England, like myself... It's a listed building, <laughs> if you if you want to think of it that way. I don't know if you guys have any uh, knowledge of property. Uh, my job is in property, so <laughs> yeah, that's the best conclusion I can come up with. It's like a listed building. The top of this bay window is quite interesting. Yeah, we'll need a flat roof there. Roof ramps. Nah, they wouldn't work. Those are just proper chimneys. I mean, we could we could probably do these on the top. There's a uh, little roof decorations. Would be out of place. You might have someone come and sit up on the roof. Maybe. Okay. Now, under the metal roofs, we want the undamaged versions. Okay, I'm going to have to put in a floor before this works. So let's put a floor. Wood floor. Uh, I need to make sure the grain goes the correct way. That's it. Cool. Now we can go back to the roof. We can put in a metal roof. That's it. So we can have a straight doorway. I'm not sure what the difference between those two is. Oh, it's just a, a wall. Fair enough. So you'd have that over there. Hmm. You know what? I've got an idea. We should round this. We should make this a rounded piece of wall. Do we have rounded pieces of wall? No, no we don't. But do we have them in the clean plaster versions? Nope. Do we have one in the homemaker version of brick buildings? Floors, roof and stairs, walls. Nope. Okay, that's quite fucking annoying actually. That is actually quite annoying. Unless I do like some kind of amalgamation build again. That could work if I give this place a bit of variety. Let's just go back very briefly to the commercial kit once again. No, the residential kit. What am I saying? The walls. Theme number two. Okay, so we only have these ones. 
Does the commercial kit have white stone? Yes, it does. Not quite the same stone, but good enough. Now, do we have a rounded piece that we can use? No. Oh my god, this is getting annoying. Um... Yeah, because if I do that, that's just going to look really silly. Yeah, that's a full piece. What was the kit I saw which had the rounded pieces? Hang on a minute. I think I know. I think I'm onto something here. Concrete. Miscellaneous. Is it miscellaneous? No. Concrete walls. Oh my god, I had something here. I know I had something here. Oh my goodness, this is really annoying. Uh... If there was a, like a picture in the dictionary for damn it, my face would be the perfect definition right now. Give me a second, guys. I know I have a rounded piece of uh, brick somewhere. Give me a second. I'm going to find it. Okay. I think I'm getting somewhere now. Figured I can't actually build the annex without some uh, correctional action let's uh, put it that way <laughs> so i've had to go ahead and do that correctional action which is putting in a different staircase so here we have this wooden staircase um, don't worry about this piece of wood here that is going to get covered as far as i'm aware this is where i find the roof does not have any half tiles nope it does uh, 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 excuse me. That's fine. And this can be removed and a full piece of roof can be put in its place. So we have a staircase going up. I think that looks a little bit more compact as well. So we've got the flat roof there. You can go straight up. Only needs a half half tile clearance which is great that is the wrong way round there you go now the issue with the annex here is there's no door pieces which work with this which is a bit dumb <laughs> it's, uh, it's very slightly dumb unless there's one in the homemaker structures these so I mean you've got this door but I think it's identical yeah that's identical you got these big mansard things um I'm just thinking, would that actually work? If I pull the uh, access route inwards, like so. I mean, the, I think the only person who's really going to be coming up into the annex is probably me. Or maybe a Minuteman or two, like security-wise. But I quite like this annex. It's really nice. And I think that roof access is surprisingly fitting it doesn't uh, stick through the roof does it i'm quite aware of this rubbish down here by the way i have to clear that set type 2 for that to work properly you know i don't hate it 
I I actually quite like that. Now, in terms of getting the annex with a curved uh, wall here, I do have a few ideas. Now, I was quite dumb in the shell kit has plenty of pieces here, so I could quite easily use some of these. The residential theme, for example, has these. I mean, those are pretty huge, to be honest. Let me just scroll back to the bits that actually matter. Yeah, so... I mean, that is the perfect shape for the mansard up the top, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's ever so slightly off, but that's fine. Why am I getting more ideas? Okay, tell you what, let's... Let's do that, because you would have windows on this end of the, the building. The problem with this is underneath... The only curved, uh, curved ones I have there have windows which I obviously don't want. Um, what does? Foundations for Red Rocket. Damn. Old State House. One of these brick sets has to have a curved piece that I can use. One of them has to. Now I've checked the garage sets out. Fanway Hall. Fenway Hall Red. No, Fenway Hall is a very square building, so I don't think that's going to have it. Concord Museum. Brick walls in red. Ooh. There's a thought. Now that's way too big. <laughs> Otherwise, that would make a nice, uh, nice little setup there. Actually. Just had a thought. Why don't I put it here? I mean, that's definitely something to think about, right? I mean, I don't dislike it. It is in the communal space after all. And that does actually round that off. If I replace that with white wood, I think that would look amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, church. Churches are rounded buildings, but they don't have what I need. Bathhouse. It would be good to, if one of these does have them. <laughs> commercial kit. Well, that's got white. The white wood. Oh, no. Come on. There has to just be a completely plain brick wall. That's quite a nice... Uh, Wide window. Pillars. No, don't want pillars. Classic. Classic shell kits. I mean, we have this. It's going to be one of those again, isn't it? Yeah, see, that is not the kind of curve that I need. 
I mean, it's, it's a classic brickwork, but not classic enough, I find. Yeah, it's, um, it's not quite as curved as the piece above it. That, however, is. No, it's not. Yeah, I mean, that follows the curve of the thing above it perfectly. I mean, the, the shared one doesn't doesn't have anything. That's just literally all brick pieces. Hmm. <sighs> Who would have known this would be as tough as it actually is? Because I have this, and it's great. But what of it? Because I don't have... I don't have a piece that doesn't have windows. Hello? Shit, that's a full blown siege. The motherfuckers all using stealth boys. Oh wow, what a shot. Yeah. Ooh. Not so tough when your stealth boy is gone, are you? Yeah, you didn't. They, uh, they really thought they could beat us with stealth boys. Might have fooled me, but they didn't fool you. <laughs> We're fine. Okay, back to the problem in hand. My question here is... I can snap another one of these to the bottom. We'll lower this by 50, lower that by 50. Snap, oh. Snap the wall piece together like that. Obviously that's gonna be looking into just a piece of crap. It's going to look kind of ugly, but if I go under miscellaneous, I think I have like window boards. Actually, what am I saying? Why don't I just go into Homemaker, go to Decorations, uh, go to Interior Decorations, we'll put Venetian blinds over them, draw the windows, and nobody has to be any the wiser. That's how we'll get away with it. Because the windows on the outside are fine. 
So we'll take the surface snap off. Uh, we'll position we'll position that in place like so. We're gonna have to make the blinds bigger by twenty percent. We'll stick the blinds in place just there. Make them bigger. Okay, that just looks a little bit daft. Um, tell you what, we'll shrink them down by one. Shrink them down by one. Actually, how big are these? Do these fit better? They might do, actually. So let's put these away. And we'll put these Venetian blinds in instead. That's what happens when terrain and my build kits become the death of me. These are significantly harder to position. Okay, then we can afford to make them a tad bigger. Let's put the Venetian blinds over this window over here. Be careful with it. Like so. Expand that by two. Bring it down over the window. And now let's see how that looks. There. Can't even tell that that's a window into nothing. Because, let's say, if I put um, boards over it, it looks run down. It looks undesirable. That's not the look we're going for on, J on Jamaica Plain. This is going to be like prestigious living, so... That's the impression we're going with it. And I think that's a pretty good way of remedying that. <sighs> okay, shell kit. Back to the residential. We'll put in another set. Um, we'll have to take that out. So we can put in more Venetian blinds to cover these windows. Okay, so put the blinds over the window like so. Expand by two. That should be fine because it's closer to the bottom. We'll put these in. Expand by two. Tuck that back into the window ever so slightly. And that should also now be fine. Perfect. That just looks like an interior office that you can't get to. That's the impression I'm going for. Back to the shell kit. <laughs> See, this is all about trial and error. This is what happens when I can't do what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> okay, so that shell kit wall is offset ever so slightly. Actually, I don't need to offset it now. Oh, here we go. shooting through the settlers of our open fire. Excellent. Let me uh, quick save this because I'll be pissed off as a motherfucker if I end up losing this. I don't hate it. I don't hate it at all, actually. Kind of makes this building look a little bit upstaged. <laughs> okay. You know what? You shall go to the ball. I like that. Let's put another wall up there. Obviously, these need to be swapped out. But we're keeping the shape. We're keeping the theme. This would not have been possible if we went with the stonework. I actually really like this balcony. 
stealing it from the Concorde Museum set. Now the only difficulty now is I have to reconnect all the flooring. <laughs> also the flooring is not going to match because it now matches on this side so it's caused a bit of a disconnect. That's okay though. So wood clean floors. I think we have a curved one. I have a feeling this curve is too steep. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> it's going to be too steep, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's too fucking steep. <laughs> Kill me now. I mean, this is the stud flooring. Does this poke through? I'm kind of hoping this is better. I mean, I'd rather have it short on the inside than short on the outside, if I'm honest. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, thank Christ for that. Um, I will do the same up at the top in just a sec. I need to I need to do something about this exterior because this concrete that goes round and stops is a bit of an eyesore. So I want to put something in that will accentuate it a little bit. There has to be something in the shell kits or the residential kit, maybe. Now, those are door canopies. They, those won't work. I, mean, I could put these trims in. Yeah, let's put these trims into the building. That gives a little bit of a a little bit of 3D-ness to it. Give it a 3D look. Because the one thing that I can't stand about buildings, now that I've gotten better with them, is when they don't pop. Like if it's just a flat surface like this bit on the right here, that really annoys me. the hell happened to my Venetians? Oh, it tethered it to the floor, didn't it? When I when I deleted the floor. Oh, that's annoying. That's very annoying. You know what? I don't think we need to retain that shape. That little quirky jutty out shape. I think we can just get rid of it. Okay. Back to the residential kit. Need to get my trims. Put the trims in. Like that. Um... I need to delete this and put my Venetian blinds back in <laughs> because that just completely screwed me. Interior. Oh, I've got to go all the way along to it. Uh, I'm not having a very good day today, am I? <laughs> okay. Towels. Yeah, I don't need that. Venetians. That's what we need. So again pop it in, enlarge it twice. I think this one in particular needs to be enlarged three times. This one can get away with being enlarged twice. That's fine. That's also fine. 
Venetians are closed. Excellent. Oh, we're getting there, guys. We are getting there. <laughs> In my life. Okay. Excellent. All right. Ledges, roofs. There was one here that had greaves. It's not under roof decorations, is it? No, no, it's not. It's not under roof decorations. It's under wall decorations. Gotcha. This is definitely a wall that needs a couple of greaves to make it blend in with the original architecture. That, that looks like it would fit. Uh, we can put another window there. Actually, before we stick a greed down, I think a piece of that graffiti from the wall decorations would look great. Is it under paintings? No, it's not. It's under signs, isn't it? What is a garage cart doing in signs? God, there's pretty much everything in here but what I need. It is it is in this section, isn't it? It's not under paintings, is it? Am I just being dumb and it's under paintings all along? No, it's not it's not under that. I can take that for nothing. All right, so we've got all the uh, posters and, you know, ruined bills and all that crap. Gigantic Nuka-Cola sign. Where would I put that? Probably Hangman's Alley. Wow, this pack has a lot of signs. Okay. Not, it's not under lettering, I know that. No under lettering. Though, to be fair, this is a Minuteman settlement. I think a Grebe and the flag would be enough to separate this wall a little bit. Like so. Someone's having fun over there. Yeah. I think that looks a lot neater. A much neater alleyway. We could do with some decorations over here, though. Say that graffiti is going to annoy me. Give me one moment. Okay, it was under wall signs. <laughs> it was under wall signs elsewhere. I think that would be too big for a building like this. And we already have an Abraxo one. Mass chemical. Hot pizza. That's not to say that we wouldn't serve pizza here. 
And you know what? Why not? If we hang that off the accent. No. no that, that doesn't fit on the guest house. That would fit more on the corner of this building. Where they're actually selling goods. Yeah, that fits a lot better over there, not over here. You guys must be having a bomb watching me fumble around trying to find stuff. I'm never normally this bad. I normally have a very good idea of where to find things. We'll put one wall grebe up there to break up that flat surface on that end. I'll deal with that bit in a moment. That needs probably a graffiti, actually. That Braxo one is way too big. Nuka Cola. Yes, we'll, we'll put the Nuka Cola one. Oh, no, you can barely see that. What about this? Again, can't really see it. Hubris Comics. I mean, you can see it. Grey Tortoise Famous Cigarettes. We can roll with it. That does add some colour, so I, I'm okay with that. I need to put some wall decorations here. But I, I was going to say I could add a trim across here, but if I put the metal trim and stop there, and it would look kind of dumb. So I might add a different kind of trim in a short while. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, the ceiling needs changing. So we'll head up into the annex. This will need swapping. And this will need swapping. Shell care floors. Uh, clean wood. The very last one. Excellent. Now we have a proper annex up the top as well. Now, I'm going to put a placeholder wall across the outside. Vanilla plaster. Like that. Now, roofs. We want roofs. The flat roof number two is what we want. Um... Scrap that, scrap that, scrap that, and scrap that, because we don't want the broken roof. We want the nice roof. I can barely even see. Okay. That's fine. Crease goes the correct way. That's it. Crease goes the correct way. Oh yeah, this is getting removed. That's getting removed. And this. That's going to get really annoying. There we go. There we go. Okay. I think we're getting there. So we have a really nice annex up here. Which has its own roof already pre-built. Plenty of windows. I mean, I could use this as my own personal space when I come to visit. 
I could set it as my fast travel and literally live up here. Right, parapets. This will need a stone parapet so that it's in keeping with the previous architecture. The previous architecture has one. Now, do I put it in front of the annex as well to hide the fact we haven't curved the roof? You know what? I think we do. Just up to there, no further. Plus that gives a buffer so you don't fall off the roof. Yeah, so that will give a visual cover to show that this doesn't really fit with the curvature, but it makes the curved annex blend in a little bit more. Just had a small thought actually. If I get a quick staircase from somewhere, I don't know. I was going to say, I don't even know where to find a staircase now. I'm turning into an idiot. Right. So we'll just use this to get up on the roof. What does this look like? Okay, so under the shell kits, rooftops. With these metal roofs, could I potentially get a spire of some kind to come up onto the roof? Because, I mean, there are towers. But I think these are supposed to uh, slot into a sloped roof. I mean, these are massive. Yeah, I mean, this is a massive tower. That would look really dumb. But it's worth looking at. It's just so that I could add even more character to this building. Obviously, that's not going to work. I'm not going to uh, continue doing that. Right. So we need a railing. Miscellaneous. That white uh, wood is in keeping with that balcony down there, so I don't hate that at all. Uh, plugs. Oh, that's for interior building kits. Don't need that. That's, uh, <coughs> that's fine. Now, I think under residential, we have these railings. I say, I just need to put these down so that we don't fall through and, you know, break our heads or some crap. Except that's not going to work, is it? Okay, uh, I have a better idea. Uh, under deco kit, I'm fairly certain we have railings of some kind. That's it. That's it. I just need to tug that back into place like so. And that is our railing coming up. I don't even mind that it's not got a doorway coming up. I think with the way this parapet and all that is set up, we're fine. You have a lovely view of the park from up here. Got a lovely view of the town centre and all these residential lighting. You got a good view of uh, what's going to be the diner over there. You can see straight across to the shop. I mean, this shop still needs a roof to put on it. I really should have done that first. It was the first building I made when I first moved into Jamaica Plain. That has run out of power. There's an idea. This could be the annex. Could be a power supply. No, I think a power supply would be best uh, 
set up somewhere else. This is clearly a residential building. Power supply could come from somewhere over there. Or to keep it centralised, I could make like a utility floor and put it out on a balcony here. And let's have a little power plant. Which is great. Okay. Now I think under homemaker, brick buildings. Okay, it's not under brick buildings. I'm um, being being a little dumb dumb. Uh, these are flagpoles. No, we don't need a flagpole. This is it. We have some pretty cool looking. Uh, we can snap these now because uh, we're in the right, right space. We've got these nice little roof hoods. So we can place a couple of these. Uh, roof vents. Nicely done. I think as well under snappy builds. The shell kit. All the way over to the roof. Roof decorations. Is that all we have? Because I know for a fact we had quite a few other ones here. Stone trims, metal trims. No, it's not going to be under ledges. I'm just being dumb if I think that. Residential trims, bay window caps, no. It's not going to be under pillars, is it? No, of course it's not. Yeah, from what I thought it was going to be under that residential kit. It's fine. I can decorate the roof out here at a different time, which isn't an issue. Right, power. Lights. Because this place is not Jamaica Plains without lights. Hmm. If I place the roof hoods over here... Snap and builds uh, roof decorations for the shell kit. Roof. Now the roof decorations had these top things here. Let's just say that we had three of these up here. Would it be a dumb possibility that somebody would put a couple of lamps out here for you know, their late night visits to the roof? Speaking of which, if we put a couple of... If we put like a chair couple of chairs sat out here. We used to be sat side by side with your pal up here. OC decorator. You're gonna share a bottle of moonshine with them. <laughs> Talking about the good old days and you know, joining the Minutemen and all that kind of stuff. Have a Nuka Cola up here too. Been mixing it with a bit of vodka. No, that's not out of the question. You'd have that up here. 
probably have uh, like a shot glass or something that you've been drinking out of. Yeah, shot glasses. Put that on the edge. Or hell, maybe a guard's been out here on coffee duty. <laughs> you never know. So we got those up there. Got the lights out the front of the annex. We still need more light though. This place is really dim. I don't really think we have much in the way of outdoor lighting, which is the issue. A fire barrel wouldn't be a bad idea. I mean, this is a rooftop. You wouldn't really have much light uh, in terms of electricity. So having a couple of oil lanterns up here isn't, uh, isn't a bad shout. Keep the rooftop lit up. Okay, so the annex up here will have, I think, two beds. Two beds. I'll put a minute man cop, but I don't actually know who I'm going to give this bed, so I'm not going to jump the gun yet. Let's let's put down just two regular beds. We can always swap them if the if the necessity comes up. So we'll have two beds up here in the annex. Beautiful. Right, back down to the floor here. Snappy builds. Shell kit. All the way back to floors. And we'll place back. Hmm, excuse me. Stomach's going a bit. Sit. Okay, so that is part of the brick building we need to delete. Now we need internal walls. So we need an interior wall there, an interior wall there. We need a doorway coming through. Do we have a half wall? Yes, we do. So you can head straight in. There'll probably be a couple of beds, maybe even a bathroom. Maybe this can be like an entire suite here. I mean, it wouldn't be out of the question. You could have a whole suite in there. You would need an interior wall across. I'd almost be inclined to expand the room a bit and put one like here. But I know what the AI is like, so I am going to advise against doing that. <laughs> Definitely going to advise against that. Place these in here. Uh, which way is the grain of the floor going? It's going that way. This is annoying me. <laughs> Just make the grain go the right way. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, shared wall parts. Interior walls uh, down this way. We need a wall to separate the hallway here. Okay. Um, we'll do it the other way around. So we're going to have, right, this is uh, going to be trickier than I expected. So you need a shell kit there, shell kit there. Okay, this will only snap to existing walls, which is kind of annoying. Right, um... How am I going to do this? So place down a half. 
We'll put that in. We'll take that out. Then we'll place that. Then place another half. And that should then complete the loop. That's it, half walls. Okay, so then we separate the room down the middle. Um, I could make this part of the room, actually. I'm just thinking that. Uh, what? I think there's a very pertinent phrase by Bob Ross. Um, happy accidents. <laughs> I think uh, that's how it is. Happy accidents. Okay. Um, getting an interior wall corner cap on these. Brilliant. Get a corner cap on this one. Excellent. There are no corners to worry about in here for now. That's fine. So we've got two guest rooms up here with an external communal hallway with balcony access. Now downstairs, staircase. We could do a reception and communal area. How would I do that? Uh, um, this is... Part of me wants to have like a check-in like office, like stroke booth, which I think would go something like this. Yeah, the issue that I have is this uh, this dirt patch. I'll be honest, I'm not actually sure why I can hear water right now. Oh, it's because of the pond in the park. I'm a dumbass. Being a proper dumbass at the moment. No, what I'll do is change this for a half wall. Do I have a half shell cut off wall like that? No, I don't. That is a side cap. I'm going to put a column there instead. Then I need to put an interior wall cap on this part. Actually, no, I'll just put another column here then. Cheers. This part here is going to annoy me though. Because to, to sort that out, I'd need to raise this by five, 15 pieces. However, I just had another thought. If I go ahead and put down a half floor on this side at the height of the reception, and then place another piece at the height of the communal space, I'm going to have to do it manually because this shit is this shit. Like so. A desk would separate the two. You wouldn't tell the difference. Let me just deal with this.
Now that is what you call being dangerous. got a sound lich. <laughs> oh, that's going to be annoying. Uh... That's another level up. Okay, I can deal with it if the sound glitch is that far away. <laughs> That's not a problem with me. You keep... Okay, maybe not. Let me just uh, save over this very quickly. Just overwrite one of those. Very quickly load my quick save. And that should hopefully solve the issue. Oh, solved. Right, where was I? Right, yes. Resolving this issue back here. Let me take that out. I'll replace it with a snappy build. Uh, shell kit. Shell kit. In this flooring. One, two, three. So it's got one step up. Now I can work this into the build by making the reception desk ever so slightly higher. Obviously, we we will wallpaper all this. Like, don't don't fret. Don't even like trip chocolate chip. It's fine. Um, so the shell kit interior. I have a feeling I can't find wallpaper for these, so what I'm going to do instead is under the pillars. No. Shared wall parts. I'm going to put just regular brick pillars because you'd have exposed brickwork on the inside of buildings. Yeah, that happens all the time. In some places, it's even an architecture choice. It wants to go everywhere but where I want it. There we go. Excellent. Now, into Homemaker. Uh, we need to put in some furniture, surfaces, counters. Now, do we have the modular counters in here? We've got the really dirty ones, and that's the small ones. That's what we want. So it's now up on a little step, so you can still get to it. What's good is we don't have to worry about it clipping because this part of the building is unused. Hee <laughs> hee, what a cheat. Cool. Now to cheat the system a little bit and get some extra happiness, I'm going to put down a trader, a tier 3 trader. And I'm going to place that here because the tier 3 trader holds a clipboard. It looks like he's checking in guests. It looks like he's, you know, registering people to live there, whatever that is, but it'll, it'll be a, a way to produce happiness. So let's find the settler who needs a job. You. You need a job. Guess what? You're now the, uh, the hotel clerk, so off you go. Fantastic. You can generate happiness for the settlement. Brilliant. Okay, snappy builds. 
shell kit, interior. Should this be balcony access? No, because there's grief behind it. <laughs> That's a good, good enough reason as any. Let's put a half wall. Actually, what does this look like? I mean, I'm okay with it, but I don't really like the uh, sheer shear off on that. So, no, um, I'll just stick with the original plan, which was to put in a half a wall here. That's it. Then put in a half door here. Because this is going to be a bathroom. Ah, oh, that's a corner. Whoops. That is a secret door. Oh, wow. That's a secret door. Aha. I did not know that existed. <laughs> Genuinely did not know that existed. I feel kind of dumb. Okay. Brilliant. So we have a bathroom here. We have a proper, you know, suite that somebody could live in here. Excellent. That column is not supposed to stick through like that. Excellent. Nothing else. Okay, I think we've got just enough time to probably wallpaper this place before we call it quits. Wallpaper. Okay. Shared interiors. Wow, that is so dark. Okay, we want something uh, inspiring for for down here in the beautiful hotel. That actually looks quite nice. I say this is a hotel. It's not really a hotel. It's more like a quarters for people who live at the settlement. Okay, this is going to get annoying. Just snap, will you? There you go. Not another attack. Okay. Now, we're going to take a leaf out of the books of City Hall. And we're going to place the vanilla version of this particular wall tile. So. Nice. I'm not sure we're going to get a wallpaper quite like that, so. The front door might just have to be left as is. We can cover it up with things like lights and that kind of stuff. So the lobby looks quite nice, or it shall look quite nice.
That looks fine. Yet yeah, the exposed brickwork there doesn't look out of place. If I raise that by two units of five, does that pop through the ceiling? Shouldn't do. No, it doesn't. That's fine. And even if it does, that shouldn't really matter, if I'm honest. That's cool. And we put it on the other side as well. Cool. Excellent. Now here's the issue. This is a very large doorway. And it won't snap to this because this doorway is even wider. But it should snap to the shell kit. Interior materials. Uh, that's a curved wall. That's an angled wall. Sheet metal corner window. No, that's a door that's even bigger than that. So it's not under that. Uh, interior. King size doorway. Oh my god, that's enormous. <laughs> it's definitely not that one. Uh, it's almost the size of that. House kit stairs ground floor. Oh shit. Right, okay. Okay, it's not house kit. I think we're just going to have to leave that. I don't think we're going to get wallpaper for that at all. Right. It wouldn't be out of the question to have a very nice tile looking floor for you to, you know, enter this beautiful hotel. <laughs> well, soon to be beautiful hotel. That is the carpet from Far Harbour. Yep, this tile looks nice. Looks very nice. We do have triangles, which is good. Pythagoras would be proud of us. Don't I... Do not like Pythagoras making us learn his bloody theorem in school. And yep, yeah, that's one. That's two. And that is... Oh, that's the half law. Of course it is. That's it. Yeah, I could get away with the full size one there because that floor is tucked under here. Excellent. So that is the lobby of the hotel. Okay, upstairs. Right, I think that for the communal hallway is not bad. That's not a bad shout. We can use this for the communal hallway. We need a half, half set of blocks for that, half for that, and we need the triangle for this. Excellent. Again, uh, haven't got anything big enough to cover, well, anything the right shape to cover that, so we're kind of stuck with this raw chipped plaster which uh, again it's kind of a shame really
Um, there has to be... No, that's a proper convex, uh, convex carpet. We need, we would need a carpet, which is just the straight curve. I might have to leave the floor in here exactly as it is, which is a shame. But we don't actually have anything that we could use. Now for the bathroom, we can use this floor tile. Oh, I'm using the wrong template. Of course I am. Oh, that's it. Uh, wallpapers. Shared interior is fine on the standard set of walls. We do actually have a tiled wall. That's it, the tiled wall. That's it. Put in that. The half walls, we can get the same tile for that. Which is just here. Oh, that's because that's a column. That's okay. So we've got a half doorway. Uh, there we go. So I can see it. There you go. That's your bathroom. I think we're only going to be able to decorate one half. Do we have some fresh plaster just bright white plaster yes we do I'm going to have to uh, mash my finger to get right to the end here Think about mash, 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 mash. That's fine. That's the only one we can use because that's the only wallpaper we have which fits uh, these walls. So we have no choice but to do that. Okay, we need something a bit more snazzy. I mean, this is one of our top level suites, so. Makes sense that we would uh, splash some money on it. Lovely jubbly, and a half door. There we go, now I can see it. Ooh. Oh yes, it's because I put the plaster over it. That's it. Put one in there. Uh, there is a half wall that I need to put in on this. Excellent. And then full walls, I need to put another fresh white plaster there. Excellent. So that is this suite decorated. Uh, back to carpets. I need to get back to that garish looking hotel carpet. That's it. I think I had it. Oh, come on, I had it just a second ago. There you are. Nice. 
Now, I thought of putting in two to a room up here, but the rooms are already small enough. You've, you've come here to rest. You just want to bloody relax. <laughs> you don't want to have to share your room with somebody else. So I've, I've decided to have one to a room in these. So we'll put in some nice blue carpet. That's it. Excellent. Right, so the wallpaper. I can't believe I'm nearly at two hours doing this. Right, we don't have enough, we don't have wallpaper that will cover that, so we have no choice but to do white there. Also, don't think I have much of a choice but to do white here as well. Um, DLC? No. Shared? No. It's got to be shared interior. No, it's not going to be. No, they're curved. Decomania. No, that's curved. That's curved. The thing is, we've kind of matched that. It's just got a green hue to it. We'll have to we'll have to put up with that. I don't think we've got wallpaper for it. It's fine though. And since this is a communal area, we'll go with the standard wallpaper that we've got downstairs, the vanilla version of the town hall. This is where you're just gonna refuse to play ball, isn't it? Am I going to have to literally thrust these stairs into the stratosphere before you're going to recognise these walls? Yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Crying out loud. There we go. So, one, two, and three. That's back. <sighs> tiring. Very, very tiring. I'm actually getting quite tired at the moment. I haven't been sleeping too well for the last uh, few nights. I think it must be uh, to do with the weather. Mind you, I haven't been sleeping well like at all lately. Don't know what's, uh, what's wrong with me. Okay, now we need a doorways half. So a doorway's half over here. Uh, interior, no, uh, half walls. The silver version. There you go. That's this floor kitted out. Just need to do these rooms. Again, I'm going to do them quite uniform. So. No, <laughs> I'm not putting plasterboard in there. These guys deserve better than that. Ah, that green looks so... <laughs> so awful. That's the same as downstairs. That just looks really garish. <laughs> the bright blue. No, 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 not a chance. Not a chance. You can tell I wouldn't make a very good interior designer, can't you? That being said, my um, my apartment is uh, quite well <laughs> well decorated. I can't retain really the credit for that though. My uh, my mother helped me uh, pick out some of the colours. Obviously, I got a last refusal. I'm not having my mum decorate my entire apartment for me. Uh, 
I think white uh, white is quite a neutral colour, so I think that would work in a guest room like this. That's it, move it along. That's it, move that along. Excellent. Need the bright white again. That's a cream colour. That's the white I need. White there and white there. And the half doorway. Which will be in this particular colour. Excellent. That's it, we're done. We've decorated. My god, I can't believe I've been at this. Um, well, I say two hours, that's the recording time. I've probably been more at this about seven or eight hours, <laughs> I'll be honest. Now, to get everyone reset into position. I'm going to go up to the annex and I'm going to sleep for a couple of hours. Wow, those vents look janky as hell. Oh no. Oh, I thought the game had crashed. <laughs> Much better. It's a quick save. So let's go up here and sleep for a couple of hours. Excellent. Of course you're going to be facing the wrong direction. that correct now? Yes it is. Okay, you don't step on the map, but you make an attempt to, and that's the main thing, right? What the hell? Oh, shit. Okay. There we go. Just tuck it under there. Now when he stands on it, it should be perfectly correct. How about that? Oh, come on, don't play this game with me. <laughs> He's going to play this game with me. I will furnish this entire place next episode, by the way. This is just getting the place laid out and ready for... ready for moving around. It's raining. Hostile sensor reading detected. Hello? Attacking enemy. <laughs> Do you feel lucky, Puck? No 
Ouch. Great, I've got blood all over the floor of my brand new hotel. Love it. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look at this. Like so. What just happened? What the Can't get a moment's peace around it. For the minute, man. Uh. Oh, that's the special forces rifle going off. Thank you. Now can I please get back to the end of my video? <laughs> oh. Okay, so here is our lovely town centre. I really like how that's lit up at night. That's our store, looking bleak as ever. Even the lights have gone off. And now the brand new hotel. Still looking dark, but it's because we obviously haven't put lights in it yet. But I, I actually quite like the look of this. I could probably put a hotel across there in a neon or something. Let's see what it looks like from the roof of the town hall. These lights are so yellow. <laughs> That looks okay from up here. Hey, we got someone who's already come up. For, well, two people have come up for a rooftop beer. Look at that. Oh, bless them. <laughs> oh, you enjoy those beers, guys. You enjoy those beers. You've earned it. Well, I've earned it, not you, but you get the idea. Right. Guys, I think it has been long enough. That is, this is one of the longest episodes I think I've ever done on this series but it's been well worth it. We've now converted another previously disused Jamaica Plain building into a usable one completely from scratch. We've had to mess around with all of the terrain. There's still a lot of work to do on it but for now I'm done. I'm going to bed. I'm tired. <laughs> you guys have a good one. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Stay safe.